Good morning, folks. We've got several science stories to bring you today. We hope you enjoyed our comedy video last night. The next edition of our e-magazine is coming soon, and we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. We still have plenty of plasma filaments in the Earth-facing position that we are monitoring closely for eruptive activity. Solar flaring took a bit of an enhancement as well the last several hours. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions at Earth are relatively quiet. Even with the slight rise in flaring, we don't have space weather heading our way. They were impulsive events reaching up to low M-class range at the peak and they mostly came from the departing active regions on the right. We'll be monitoring the plasma filaments primarily as the eruptive threat as we head into the second half of the week. First up in the articles today is a revisiting of the great gamma ray burst from a year ago. It was the largest one they've ever seen and it was the first and only gamma ray burst to actually impact the ionosphere. The ESA did a review of the event and they describe how it tells them that such an event in our own galaxy would be disastrous and how it would negatively impact the life on Earth via ozone destruction. Up next, very complex physics. For those who don't know, the vacuum of space isn't actually a vacuum, but it contains tiny electromagnetic fluctuations and strange energetic signatures. They plan to dive deeper into that world in an upcoming study, and for those who want some background, look up the vacuum catastrophe, where science currently struggles to get the universe accurately measured by even a tiny bit. Interesting bit up next about the emissions in the large arcs above sunspots. They have seen radio-like auroral signatures from the region and believe it may help them to understand the processes of solar flares and how energetic interactions work across the solar system. If you didn't catch our video last night, do it. It's funny. And if you did catch it, you didn't hear me say it was a comedy video, and then commented like a lunatic, please find a paper towel to wipe the egg off your face this morning. The top story today is one on planetary triggering of sunspot cycles. They say the approximately 11-year orbit of Jupiter is responsible for the 11-year sunspot cycle, with Earth playing a role in modulating the timing and severity of that cycle. It also forecasts much greater solar activity in the cycles ahead, which is something we don't need to see with the magnetic field weakening as it is. Folks, the next edition of our e-magazine will be coming out soon. The articles this month are some of the most telling and important in terms of the topics of solar forcing and the Earth disaster cycle. You won't want to miss this one. Sign up at the link below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.